Hi there, Tiger. Are you ready for today's math lesson? We're going to learn the addition of mixed fractions. What do you remember of mixed fractions? Hmm. Mixed fractions consist of a whole number and a proper fraction. You got that. Now let's learn the addition of mixed fractions. Introduction. Let's add mixed fractions. 4 plus 1 3 by 4. While adding mixed fractions, we add the whole numbers and the fractions separately. We write this as 4 plus 1 plus 3 by 4. We add the whole numbers first. 4 plus 1 equals 5. Then we add the fraction, 3 by 4. This is equal to 5, 3 by 4. 3, 1 by 3 plus 3, 1 by 4. We write this as 3 plus 1 by 3 plus 3 plus 1 by 4. We add the whole numbers first. 3 plus 3 equals 6. Then we add the fractions. 1 by 3 plus 1 by 4. We see that the denominators are not the same for both the fractions. Let's make the denominator same by finding LCM of the denominators 3 and 4. To find the LCM of 3 and 4 using the division method, we write the denominators separated by a comma. Then we divide these numbers by the least prime number that divides any of these two numbers. Here we start with 2. 3 is not divisible by 2, so we write 3 as it is. 4 is divisible by 2. We get 2. We repeat the steps again with 2. 3 is not divisible by 2. So we write 3 as it is. 2 is divisible by 2. We get 1. We repeat the steps with the next prime number that is divisible. That is 3. 3 is divisible by 3. We get 1. We write 1 as it is. We then multiply the prime numbers we used for dividing. 2 times 2 times 3 equals 12. Here 12 is the least common multiple. That is the LCM. Let's make the denominators the same as 12. We multiply the denominator of the first fraction with 4. 3 times 4 equals 12. Next, we multiply the denominator of the second fraction with 3. That is, 4 times 3 equals 12. Since we multiply the denominator of the first fraction by 4, we multiply the numerator with the same number. That is 1 times 4. We get 4 by 12. Since we multiply the denominator of the second fraction with 3, we multiply the numerator with the same number. That is 1 times 3. We get 3 by 12. This becomes 4 by 12 plus 3 by 12. Now, the denominators are the same for both the fractions. That is 12. We write the denominator as 12. And we add the numerators. 4 plus 3 equals 7. This is 7 by 12. Adding, we get 6 plus 7 by 12. So the answer is 6, 7 by 12. So buddy, did you understand the concept? Yes, 
I did. Can't wait to work out the exercises now.